Hey, what's going on, all you calm, cool savages? I'm your host, Wesley, and you're watching CCS TV. Have you ever wanted to play music on stream, but you didn't want the music to be in your VODs? Are you worried about getting a DMCA strike? Or maybe you want to take your VODs and edit the content for YouTube. Whatever the reason is that you don't want music to be in your VODs for, I got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your live stream to play music, but not in your VOD. Now, before we get into this video, hit up the like button, hit up the sub button, and leave a comment down below. It really helps me out as a YouTuber. Thanks again, you guys. So you wanna set up your Twitch stream to play music, but you don't want the music in your VODs? If you're using Spotify, the Nightbot Song Request app, or a third-party music app, it's all gonna work the same way. You can do this using OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, but in my video, I'm using OBS Studio. Now I'm gonna try to go step by step so you guys can set this up yourselves. The process might seem a little bit confusing, but I promise it's actually really simple. Step number one, sorry for blinding you guys. You gotta download voice meter banana. Now I know what you're thinking, oh man, voice meter? This thing's so confusing, I promise it's not confusing. I'll leave the download link for you guys in the description. Once you're on this page, you're gonna wanna scroll down and either install or download the zip package. Whichever one you wanna do is fine. Step number two, download soundtrack by Twitch. I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description for you guys as well. Now, if you have Streamlabs OBS, then you can skip this step because Streamlabs OBS has this built in. If you're using OBS Studio, download Soundtrack by Twitch and install it. Make sure you have OBS closed when you install because you're gonna be installing a plugin. After you install the plugin, restart your PC and come back to the video. Now I don't recommend using the playlist from Soundtrack by Twitch because it will mess up all your audio settings. We're only downloading Soundtrack by Twitch for its plugin. Step number three, once you come back from downloading Soundtrack by Twitch and you've restarted your PC, open up OBS and go to File. Click Settings and go to Output. Right here, you're gonna see Twitch VOD Track. You wanna check this box here, and then you wanna check six. Once you do this, you can hit okay. Step number four, check your audio settings. Go to file, go to settings, and click on audio. Now, I don't know what your guys' audio settings look like, but this is what mine look like. Everything here under global audio devices is disabled. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a whole separate source down here for our mic, for our system sound, and for the music that plays on stream. So make sure you set these all to disabled and hit OK. Step number five, go ahead and launch Voice Meter Banana. Once you're in Voice Meter Banana, this is what you're going to want to do. Right here where it says A1, set this to whatever your system audio plays from. For me, it's speakers. And this is how I hear audio from video games, music, browsers, or whatever. Also, it's good to make sure that there's nothing on A2 or A3. So click on A2 and click on remove device selection. Click on A3 and click on remove device selection. Step number six, open your sound settings. You can do this by going to the bottom right hand of your screen and clicking on the little speaker icon. You're gonna wanna right click it and click on open sound settings. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is change your output. Right here, how you see mine says voice meter input VB audio voice meter VAIO. This is what you're gonna to wanna to set your output to. Now, if you go back to voice meter banana, you can see that there's two virtual inputs. Right here, we're setting our system sound to one separate input, and that's voice meter VAIO. If you click here, you're gonna to wanna to match it up. Make sure it says VB audio voice meter VAIO. And then for your input, you want to make sure this is whatever your system audio is playing from. So whatever you set your A1 to in voice meter, you're going to want to set it the same in your input. So once you set this up and you play some music from your system, this is what should happen. You should see the audio appearing only in the voice meter VAIO track. I'm gonna head to 
pause the music. And next I'm going to show you how to set up a separate track using the voice meter aux input so that you can play music from your third party music player. And the audio will be separate from the audio that's playing from the system. Now I wanted to show you guys how to set this up using the Nightbot song request app, but if you're using Spotify, it's done the same way. So step number seven, sorry for blinding you guys again, download the Nightbot app. I'll leave the link for you guys in the description. Once you download the Nightbot app, go ahead and open it up. You're gonna have to log in with your Twitch. And once you're logged in with Twitch, go right here and click on song requests. Click on auto DJ. And to get this working properly, you're gonna wanna be playing something. So go to your stream, request a song, or click right here where it says request song and submit a link. Because you're not gonna be able to set this up unless music is playing from the Nightbot player. So if you're using Spotify, make sure there's music playing from Spotify before you move on to this next step. Step number seven, you're gonna wanna go back into your audio settings. Once you're in your audio settings, scroll all the way down to where it says advanced sound options. Go ahead and click on this. Right here on the left hand side, it's showing all the audio that's playing from your system. And the reason I told you to play music from the player before you moved on to the next step is because if you're not playing music from the player, it will not show up in this list. So what we're going to have to do is go right over here to the Nightbot player and play some music. As soon as you play music, it's going to show up right here. By default, everything is set to default. Look at voice meter. See how voice meter says voice meter aux? You're going to want to match it up. Right here in where it says Nightbot, on the top here, click on voice meter aux input. And that's all you're going to want to do. If you want to do this for Spotify, play music from Spotify and then click on voice meter aux and set it to that. Now when I play music from the Nightbot player, you can see it's only playing on this input, on this virtual channel right here. And that's what you want to happen. If this happens, then you did all the steps correctly. Step number eight, go back into OBS Studio and write down where it says sources. You're gonna wanna make some audio sources. So you're gonna wanna make one for your system and then one for the separate Nightbot track. Right click, click on add and click on audio output. This is gonna be your system. And you're gonna wanna set this to voice meter input. So voice meter, V-A-I-O, hit okay. And now when I play some music from the system, you should go ahead and play right here in system. Now right click again, add, and add an audio input capture. Be sure not to get these mixed up. Your system audio is output and the separate Nightbot music track is input. I'm going to label this one Nightbot Music. This is going to be your separate audio track. Set this device to voice meter output. Don't use voice meter aux output. The correct one is voice meter output. Once you select that, hit OK. Now when I play music from Nightbot, it should play right here under Nightbot Music. There you have it. I'm going to play two songs here for a second. It's going to sound really annoying. Just to give you guys a visual on what it looks like. I got music playing from Nightbot music, music playing from System, and then my mic all separate. Now let's, uh, let's pause all this music because it's super annoying. And we're going to move on to the final step. Oh, and something else that's super important. Make sure to set a source input for your mic. And with this device, you wanna set it the same as with A1 and voice meter. Step number nine, what you guys wanna do next is go down to your audio mixer and right click. Where it says advanced audio properties, go ahead and click on that. Now here we have our advanced audio properties. Remember how I had you guys download soundtrack by Twitch? Well, this is what you're going to want to do with Soundtrack by Twitch. You should see this in your advanced audio properties. Right over here, 
where it says tracks, you want to make sure everything but six is checked. As for the rest of the tracks, you want to make sure one is checked, two, three, four, and five is unchecked, and six is checked. You can do this for your system, your mic, and the separate Nightbot track that's going to be playing. And there you have it. That's how to play music on your stream, but not in your VOD. If you guys have any questions about the video, leave a comment down below. Let's have a conversation down there. And if this video helped you out in any way, hit up the like button, hit up the sub button. It really helps me out as a YouTuber. I also stream over at twitch.tv slash calmcoolsavage. So if you guys are interested or you're another streamer who wants to collab, hit me up in a DM. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Until the next one, keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it savage, and keep grinding, small streamers. I'll see you in the next one.